Hey guys, in this video I want to go over some of the ADF uh, problems that C309A printers and C410A printers have from HP, PhotoSmart Premium line. So, uh, document feeder jam is pops, it basically pops up if you're trying to make a copy from the document feeder. I don't have the tray here, but um, basically it's not feeding the paper in. So you can always lift this flap here make sure that it's actually down when you're trying to it could be open a little bit like this here and can give you problems also it uh, triggers an ADF um, cover open make sure that's always closed so some in some cases it could be closed here and not fully down there check for that um, then make sure this area is clean you can see dust in my case here that needs to be taken care of and cleaned up and also you can see on the rollers there's some paper dust that's accumulated if you use this a lot for copying you have to consider the fact that usually it's the papers that you fit feed in here are with print on them they have ink and with time that ink and paper dust accumulates on these rollers and if you check yours you may even, may even find that they're not even the light color anymore they're covered maybe a darker color if you have this color for example on the original sometimes they come in black but sometimes uh, in gray like we have here and it could be just uh, with with time it would just put some ink on here and they just need to be cleaned so you can clean it right in place um, just spin it and clean it with some uh, warm water or uh, window cleaning solution and then also just wipe it down with water you can also use alcohol and then wipe it down with water just to even though a lot of people say that it may ruin it I haven't seen that that the alcohol is gonna ruin it somehow but um, it would make sense because this is rubber so if you just want to be cautious and not go there um, just use warm water or window cleaning solution so um, if you want to remove this tray it removes very simply you just press this button right here and lift the latch and that just pops out so make sure when you put it back in you just put it in the correct position gears on this side um, and with this down so if you have it like this here uh, you would be confused this wrong way the bigger roller needs to be inside so just in this position right here you're gonna place it right under and just press the button again and you should have it in place now so um, you can also just lift this and clean it from here if you don't want to take it out so that also works um, just clean them from here um, make sure this is in place um, if you get a message saying that, if, for example, if you want to do copy from here and it's telling you that there is um, paper in here or a document in here, then most likely this is out of place. It could be just jammed up in here. So these uh, tabs could be jammed up. That's another problem that could be looked at. Um, cleaning, we already went over it. You can clean here. And when I open this, you'll see how dirty it is in here that needs to be cleaned as well because you're going to get lines and all sorts of stuff um so this is what this originally was uh the problem with this printer so just never spray directly in here because some solution may leak in there and you do not want that to happen so either vacuum this away or just wipe it down Probably vacuuming it is a good idea. Just sweep all this out of the way. Um, and just clean it up real good. You also use this. If you're having lines on your uh, copies or your scans after you use the document feeder, you def this is the area to look at. So make sure there's nothing here. Sometimes it's not very visible, but you'll see some, uh, um, if you look closer, there's gonna be lines like these here. That needs to be also cleaned. And it's very safe to clean it with alcohol swab. For example, uh, what I would find sometimes is whiteout that got on here. 
it was wet maybe or it was you know it just transferred to the glass and it just stays there and gives a problem all the time clean it up and use some alcohol to clean it um, alcohol swabs usually work the best um, or you can just put uh, dip it into some dip uh, paper towel into it and just clean it that way so those are the common problems that need to be taken care of um, I haven't seen much problems with the gear or this construction here and uh, usually it's those simple things so hopefully this was helpful for you uh, to getting your document feeder to not give you a problem or a, an error um, so if it did please like this video subscribe to our channel and enjoy your day thank you